Hello Aries, welcome to your March 2021 general love read with a special guest appearance, moi. I am practicing to go live on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. All signs, singles and couples. Please like, subscribe, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for all your support. All right, let's see where you're at Aries. This is just gonna be a quick love read. No extended today, I'm just trying to Get them all out there this week. If I decide to not do my hair, you'll see my hands. All right, what's going on for Aries? Give me a good message for my Aries in love. What's going on? What's on your mind, Aries? What's your situation? Nine of Pentacles. It's almost like nothing's on your mind. You're looking good. Independence. The Emperor, Aries energy, and the King of Pentacles, right? Somebody you're looking at long term. Let's see what's going on. We have the Empress who's showing up with this Empress energy, looking good. Same with that Nine of Pentacles energy. And we have the obstacle here is um, there could possibly be, this is the healing and recovery, okay? So you are going through some sort of healing and recovery, but I feel as though there's some coming out of um, no contact too. So you may be receiving the contact that you want. Okay, the camera is a little bit turned. It turned on me. So either I can get up right now and move it and fix it, or you can just keep rolling with it. I think I'm going to keep rolling with it for this time. I'll fix it as I'll just as we go in the future. All right. But you're waiting for contact, okay, from somebody. And there's been a lot of time in between with this clock showing up. And you've had time to sort of work on yourself, heal, Nurture yourself, um, and you're looking good. You know, you're coming out as the empress. You've given yourself a lot of time and affection. All right, the uh, foundation here is the Three of Cups. What's on your mind is reconciliation. Okay, so bottom line is, I feel as though you understood or you understand that time was was the healer here. Um, some space away from this person that um, that you want, that you may have been in no contact with, and you want contact from. Um, you realize now that you needed this time to really reflect and look, you know, what it was that you really want from a relationship and maybe your part in the split and all the other good stuff, but it's like, you've had time to grow. You're definitely thinking about reconciliating with this person though. It's, it's, it's in the cards. All right. In the past, the nine of wands, a lot of arguing and fighting. The two of you were at each other really hard. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. All right, you could be connecting with a Taurus, <clears throat> Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces as well. But in the past, there was lots of fighting. Maybe the two of you were just hot-headed, couldn't get it together, okay? Crowning energy, what you're thinking about is your person and messages now. You're ready. You're ready to hear from them. You can't stop thinking about them. You may be watching them, keeping an eye on them. Um, they may be keeping an eye on you. You may have heard that they're keeping an eye on you. You may know they're keeping an eye on you. They have made some signals, um, maybe some movements and signs that you know in your head you're ready now to reconcile. But either way, the crown and energy here is talking about messages and it's talking about somebody or you thinking about each other, okay? And on each other's minds. All right. In the near future, we have the Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. This is going really nice and smooth. So your person, look at this, two nines. In the past, it was nine of wands. In the future, it's the nine of cups, okay? Lots of fighting with this person, a lot of passion. The two of you may have been a lot of like, okay? A lot of like, and you just couldn't, just very hard-headed. That Aries energy, I just get that feeling of the eerie, like, war. Like, you just couldn't, the both of you had to be right all the time, okay? But now we have the nine of cups. So nines are your numbers. Pay attention to nine, nine, nine. And also threes here. So three, three. And then, you know, add three, three, three. It's a nine. Okay. I can do math. <laughs> All right. I have jokes today. So anyways, nine of cups. You have wish fulfillment. Okay. So what should you do here? The knight of cups. Opening up your heart this time. Really opening up your heart and telling this person how you truly feel. And making sure you come from you know, a loving space. Try not to come from that past energy here of the nine of wands being on guard constantly and fighting. Really come from a place of love and let this person know how you truly feel about them. And be honest. Be honest about it. What you should know 
the Fool card. What you should know is that your person could be an Aquarius too, but they definitely want a new beginning here. They want to take the leap of faith. They want you to take the leap of faith. Okay? I'm going to clarify all these, but it's pretty much, the message is pretty cut and dry here. Pretty clear. Your hopes or fears? Your hopes is the Six of Swords, them coming back around. All right? You're working on this. A less stressful future. And the possible outcome here is the Queen of Swords. So it's communication. It's also showing somebody here a little bit guarded, with their hearts guarded. Okay, the sword's right there. But that's why what you should do here is open up that heart. So the outcome here is, you know, really analyzing, really talking, but it's still somebody being a little bit emotionally detached. You know, close, not detached to this um, deck here. Because... There's too much red, too much pink here, too much love, fire, passion here, okay? It's just that sword that's blocking the heart, all right? And what you should do, your advice was to um, open up that heart. So in the near future, you may struggle with that, okay, as the outcome during the communication. Let me clarify that with the Ten of Pentacles, though. So you're talking about a commitment here. I feel like you may be closed off and you may not really truly express to this person, um, that you do want a commitment with them and you may be hiding your truth, okay? But I also get that the other flip side to that is open up your heart and speak your truth because this person does want a commitment with you. This person, you guys fought so much in the past. You've made it through some sort of transformation or some change. Now they're coming back. They're your wish fulfillment and they want this. So I, the strongest message here is just for you to open up your heart and allow this in. You know, receive what's here. And if you've been working on yourself and wanting this to show up for you, then allow it in to show up for you. You always have the choice. If if they if you think they do show up for you and they do show up, but then things go back to the old way, you have a choice to walk away again, you know, until they do. So let me get some clarifiers here with the right away. It's pretty awesome read though. I like that. It's nice and clear and to the point reason why I don't wasn't sure I wanted to go live is because I am a gum chewer and I'm trying to, to not chew my gum like a kid. All right, let's do this. Let's clarify these cards. Overall energy high priestess here, okay? Trust in your intuition, trust in your knowing, trust in your guides, okay? You have the four of wands here too, and you have the um, the six of cups in reverse here. That's, I don't think that applies. You have the four of wands and you have the high priestess. So it's maybe you're, this is that queen of swords energy too, where you're sort of being reserved and not showing your true self here about that commitment, about the ten of pentacles, not being 100% open about... Um, you do want this long-term relationship. It sort of mimics, it mirrors the Queen of, um, your outcome here, the Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Swords for me, okay? So it's really just maybe the energy here, you're walking in that kind of secretive, you know, holding back, but opening up, you know, opening up and allowing this to come in for you. All right. We have this, here we got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment here, right? This is what you've been waiting for. Your obstacle, you've been healing, you have con contact coming in. Reconciliation, this is two nine of cups here. You have three nines here now. But this is showing up again as your wish fulfillment. So you're finally getting what you want. You're finally getting the comeback around. You're finally getting this person to come back around. And it's time to open up your heart and not go backwards, not, not repeat this past arguing and fighting and move forward into the new, new versions, okay? We have the world card in reverse coming back around to clarify this three of cups. There's unfinished business here, and this person knows it too. They may be at a distance, especially because the six of swords came up. You have um, the world card in reverse and the reconciliation. I just feel like th this person may have moved away for a little bit, and that's why there's been distance. If this person was military or just travels for work, they may have been gone for a while, which gave you guys the distance to actually um, think about things and really heal from whatever happened in the past. And I think um, the, the distance, the time really um, made you both kind of understand how deep you felt for one another. Okay, you may have not have 
appreciated it is the word I'm looking for in the past, but now you appreciate it. Okay. So clarifying the nine of wands with the queen of pentacles. So I feel like there was so much fight and the queen of pentacles shows up for me sometimes as a single, single parent. Okay. So this could be a single parent. Um, it just shows me Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy too, that there may have been, you know, it's definitely the arguing here that's caused this, um, split here. Somebody may have been more independent than the other person. I'm getting that too as well. If you were connected with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, they may have just been so used to being independent that they didn't know how to handle your intensity, Aries. You know, your passion, your fiery, you know, you might explode a lot. Um, when you're when you can't handle your emotions, you might, you know, just flare up and be intense. Um and that may have, with this Queen of Pentacles, who's more grounded and more nurtured and more calm, may have, you know, because you have the Nine of Wands, I just, I see you as just arguing the war, the fighting, and this Queen of Pentacles that I just think was so used to being independent and reserved and um, taking care of themselves that they weren't, they weren't, they liked your passion, but at the same time, it sort of scared them as well, too. Okay, let's clarify the crown and end of the page. Queen of Wands, take an action. You want this person to um, take, you have two queens here. Could be a same-sex relationship too, okay? Um, just some, every now and then that comes out. But your what's on your mind is messages from this Leo Aries Sag or you wanting to message this person. It's on your head, wanting to take action, okay? The Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Your wish fulfillment here is somebody coming back in, taking, you know, taking control, taking initiative and showing you how they feel, wearing their heart on their sleeves, coming back in to romance you and let you know how you feel. The Knight of Cups and the Knight, the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Swords, okay? So there's an end in, this is an end in, and also communicating and open your heart to this person, letting them know how they, how it made you feel in the past and letting them know that you want to end this cycle here from the past and you want to move forward and be more open with one another. All right. The fool card, what you should know, the fool card, there's no more confusion here with that seven of cups. There may have been options in the past. And what I mean by options is your person was so independent and so used to being able to do whatever they wanted to. So with this option cards, it just means, you know, wanting to go hang out with the guys or the girls, wanting to go shopping whenever they felt like it, um, never having to answer to anybody, spending their money with the way they want to, things like that. They, you know, it confused them in the past from wanting commitment because they were so independent. But now there's, they want this beginning with you. They're, they're ready to take the leap and they're no longer confused about it. Could be with an Aquarius. All right. So your hopes or fears is you do want this person to come back. Okay. You have the Hermit card. This person is showing up as a Virgo, that, that Queen of Pentacles type energy here, who has reflected and really thought about what it is they truly want. And so they've chose the path they want to take. And because this is clarifying the six of swords in reverse, it's telling me they've reflected upon the relationship and they know that they want this relationship with you. So they're coming back They're They know that their path is with you. Okay. And you guys cross paths for a reason. And the outcome here, <clears throat> the queen of swords, the 10 of pentacles and the three of swords here in reverse. So, an end to conflict, an end to conflict, okay, but you have to trust this and open up your heart, okay? There's going to be an end to this conflict, and with this end into this conflict, it's going back to, you know, if you want a fresh new start with that fool energy, it's opening your heart and moving forward for a new cycle, okay? What else do we get? The Hierophant, Okay. Walking in a higher path, having a higher level of commitment, okay? A stronger commitment, both following your higher selves, both coming from a different place, a headspace, okay? With this commitment. End in the past conflict and both on the same page now. The two of you are in alignment with what you want, the future, okay? So let me go ahead and pull a couple of these cards, just kind of wrap it up and see um, what messages these cards may have, but... 
this is it. This is definitely a reconciliation. Waiting on messages from this person is coming back around. They've they've reflected and they're they're ready to come back around. You may have been the chaser in the past, okay? Sort of codependent in this relationship. Or you had a fear of abandonment issue. This person, this could have been this person as well too, which is why they were afraid to commit, all right? And watching, looking, stalking, still keeping an eye. And that's that Page of Swords energy too. So I feel like the both of you are doing that to each other, okay? Because it's unfinished business here. And keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along one night stand. This to me, which was what, when this person was in the past, single and independent, they may have been afraid to give up that independency, okay? But we have love, unconditional love coming in. And the Empress, you had the Empress card at the beginning here. And that's kind of what this is, unconditional love. You're looking, you're going to receive unconditional love from this person. Passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you. Take care.